Um, where we left off, we just ran a quick simulate local. Like I said, that just gives us a starting point. Like, uh, we could click the simulate button. Well, we'll do it. And what happens is it, this actually keyframes it. Well, not keyframes, but, well, okay, yeah, keyframes. First, we'll notice that it's not interacting with the pole. We don't like that. And uh, it's really squared and ugly and stupid. See, now I can scrub the timeline and those uh, frames are saved. All right, that's the difference between simulate local and simulate. All right, we're just going to erase simulation. And we'll click a few things here. Uh, gravity, this is a, you know, default here. I want to do a self collision. Click on that and we will simulate again. We'll see what the difference is. Uh, you're not going to be able to see the difference real well unless you know what you're looking for. So the cloth realizes itself now. Like it won't intersect with one another. Like uh, if I had a wind force in there now, blowing to be able to go flat back out. Alright, uh, erase simulation. What we'll do now is we'll put a wind force in there. Just one. Ninety degrees. Strength. This is all stuff you ought to play around with. The strength, uh, turbulence, frequency, and scale. I'll leave mine at one. What I do is I just leave it at default and I'll run the simulation. <laughs> you have to click on cloth forces and grab that wind you just put in. Again, this is something you should rename, you know, uh, wind. Uh, flag. Alright, so let's click on this. Make sure that changed. Everything's good. Force is in simulation. That means we're currently using it. To take it out, we could just click the, uh, uh, it would be the less than, I don't know, pointing left carrot, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> whatever. So make sure it's in this side, this column here. And we'll run the simulation again. That obviously isn't enough. Erase simulation. Next step is to take this to five. Or five. Turbulence will set to two. Frequency point five and scale. We'll leave it at one for now. And we'll rerun it. Now the wind is starting to grab it. This gives us a chance to, uh, okay, erase simulation. This gives us a chance to show why we use simulate local. So, like, when you start your animation, it doesn't start as a basic, you know, square, untouched. It's plain, it's boring, and it looks like it's the beginning of an animation. You don't want that. So, we'll click on simulate local. And we just give this thing a chance to, uh, set into its ways. You can stop it whenever you think it looks all right to start. Like, this would be a good starting spot. Just to stop the, the simulation, you just hit simulate local again. If you simulate local damped, 
that just slows it down to give you a more accurate time of when you want to stop it. Okay, so now we have this as our starting point. See, nothing is keyframed now. That's just a starting point. And like I said, if you ever want to erase that, just click reset state and it will take it back to the flat plane again. <clears throat> All right, now what I'll do is uh, we can we can do these steps in whatever order we want. I'm going to uh, actually... Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I will. I'm going to, going to increase the radius of the bottom part here, the stand. I don't, I don't really need it to look. Uh, you know, this doesn't need to be realistic. The, the fun thing about it is making it like suit the pseudo realism of it. That way again the stand whatever okay so back to this we can put a we'll add a couple of modifiers to this mesh smooth that takes out some of the, uh, the uglier parts some parts are still crinkle like this but that'll look good when it's animated we want to put a shell modifier on there and what happens is uh well, let me grab it real quick Shell, okay. A shell modifier will give it two ends here. It gives it depth. So like right now we're just looking at a flat plane. The edge is right here. We turn on shell, and we'll just put this to one. And now we have another edge right in here this is the part alright so that's always uh, you wanna have something like that and for something like this it doesn't matter if you want the outer or inner amount like if I just raise the inner amount it would come out from the other end here that's not really important for this tutorial just as long as like uh, if one of these corners flaps up and you see the back end of it it would be invisible if we didn't use the shell modifier here alright so I'm just gonna uh, where we have it here I'm gonna run oh, first click this little button here I don't even know what that's called but you'll be able to change your frames 300 and we will simulate that All right, so this is what we got. All right, now we could animate the wind so the flag goes up and down more or whatever. We could turn down, I don't know, the turbulence. We could do a bunch of stuff. For this, I'm just going to let you discover because that's half the fun. And we're about at nine minutes. So before we move to the Photoshop, portion of this I'm going to cut this one and I'll see you at the next tutorial where we will build a map for this a diffuse map and an opacity map and how we'll use a quick bump map maybe I mean you probably shouldn't even use a bump map it makes it a little bit more gritty I like that style so we'll do it that way because we're doing it my style you're watching my tutorial Mr. Garn I'll see you the next portion.